must show politicians that unless they work hard to the best of their ability for the betterment of all, we will vote them out. We must show school boards and school systems that unless you provide the best education possible to, to, for the children of this country, that will step in and, and have something to say about it. Even though we don't have children in the schools, those children belong to us. By the way, don't let any politician in this building, black or white, believe that your vote is secure solely because they attended the Salem County NAACP Freedom Fund dinner. The challenge for America today is to continue to forge relationships and assemble a multiracial team that would uphold, very simply, what the Constitution says. We don't need new legislation or new laws. We just need to uphold the laws that we already have. My challenge to you on this day, Salem County, is that you commit to getting better, whatever that means. My challenge is for each one to be more alert or to be more aware of those who may not have it as well as you. Set a goal to make Salem County one of the best counties in the, Golden, in the Garden State. There are still people out there who go along to get along, even though going along means being unfair or racist acting. But there are many, many individuals who do not feel like that today and are looking for opportunities to show that they don't feel like that. We must give them a chance to join in an effort to make America great for everyone and not just for a few. So as we leave here tonight, I'm asking you to recommit yourself to civil rights struggle. We must understand that what is done to the least of these is not so much overlooked as many people would think. These, there, there are people who are living in substandard housing, and there are still people who are automatically eliminated from job possibilities. There are schools that aren't, going, aren't doing what they're supposed to do. There are politicians and law enforcement officers who are not doing what they're supposed to do. These all come within the responsibility of the NAACP in Salem County in its effort to provide liberty and justice and equality for all. We must provide a unified front to make sure that children entering into elementary school are equipped with what is needed to make sure they exit from high school with the appropriate credentials that could lead them to an effective trade school or to an accredited and accomplished college or university. These things are vital if, if in 30 to 40 years, Salem County can look back at a proud heritage and see where at a certain point you dropped all the things that used to be and look towards things that could be and change the world. If we are going to, to turn the corner in America, it is going to be as a result of coalitions being formed and relationships built and renewed. We are all in this together. Because of racial and political hypocrisy employed by a few, some of the world see cracks in the foundation of America. Their thinking is, what right does America have to tell us how to treat our people when they don't even treat their own people right? On the other side, the world was so excited after hearing the news of Barack Obama and so excited to see a direct look at the American, a different look at the American global politics, they presented him with the Nobel Peace Prize even before he officially took office. Black people in America have been, have been some of the most loyal, optimistic, and hopeful people in the world. We have adjusted to, most, to, to the most bizarre things. The, form, the American form of slavery was one of the most brutal and inhumane systems of slavery in the history of the world. We have adjusted 
to all kinds of psychological games and damage since we got here. Don't forget, we did not come here on the Mayflower. We adjusted and adjusted to the point where we just made it the best of whatever. The slave master, for example, took the high end of the hog and gave us what he didn't want, and we turned the rest into delicacies. We were told that we could not be educated, and we therefore proceeded to create our own schools. They would not let us into colleges and universities, and we created our own HBCU that went on to produce some of the most brilliant and accomplished people in the history of the world. They gave us, they told us we weren't smart enough to fly airplanes and sent us to Tuskegee to pacify us. And we commenced to create an armed force who accomplished unprecedented feats in the eyes of terror and tyranny. One of the causes for of perpetual poverty and crime in some of our neighborhoods is a lack of hope. Also, it is a lack of trust that their present condition would never change. One of the factors that would cause you to believe that your current circumstance would never change is what you perceive as the will of the people who are in charge of creating policy that directly affects you. So we're talking about the educational systems, we're talking about political systems, and we're talking about employment systems. All those things could change for the better and therefore could change the way people think about where they live and how they fit in. If through this great organization in Salem County, New Jersey, a coalition was built where the heart of the new structure is a mutual and respect for the principles in which this country was built, great progress could be made. Seeds of hope would be planted for everyone in the county, regardless of race, regardless of income, and regardless of any other factor. But it must take everyone. The unfortunate social condition in America that is caused by what I conveniently, what I, what I call convenient neutrality is becoming a disease that is eating at the foundation from which it is built. We cannot have individuals who see what we see and talk about empathize, apathizing behind closed doors and then not come out and voice their opinion in the light of day. The, act, the attack on voting rights is not just a problem of poor people and people of color. The attack on our school system or the perpetuation of poor schools is not just an issue that is a concern for those who have to put their children in public schools. And life was nothing but an awful song. But now I know.